Hey guys, so um, a quick tutorial right now. We're going to talk about how to optimize dynamic lights. I'm not talking about dynamic sun. Uh, I'm only talking about light. So just a reminder that when we're talking about uh, dynamic lights, we're talking about stationary or movable because, you know, in stationary you can bake the lights in and in movable you can't really uh, bake any lights. And if you're using Unreal Engine 5 and Lumen or Ray Tracing at the same time, then uh, you're definitely going to go use all the lights uh, as movable lights, not static. And first reminder would be if you're not using Lumen or all dynamic lights, then if you're not using a light uh, and shadows dynamically, just go ahead and set this to static. This is the first thing you need to um, remind yourself. I'm not going to go um, a lot into the details, but these are really important. Uh, this can be a little bit technical, so you can just go ahead and research about it yourself. But simply put, um, if the radius of the light is really, really big, then you're in trouble. Then you have to, if you want to use a really high um, value as all your ra uh, radius values, then you go ahead and use uh, the light as a static light. Okay, so two things I want to point out right now is first is cast shadows. If you don't want the light, if it's not that important that the light casts shadows, then just go ahead and turn it off. It's not that important. I mean, the scene changes a little bit as you, um, you can notice at some places, but it's, it's going to change the performance like a lot. It's going to give you back like 5 milliseconds or something. And uh, in lower end machines, it's going to get a lot more milliseconds back. So it's something to consider. It's it's going to change the look of the game a little bit. But I guess it's worth it at some point. Um, and the last thing I want to point out really, really fast is a draw distance okay so right now we can see the light in here okay but when we are at some place really far i'm sorry for the lag my computer is compiling shaders uh when we're really far we don't really need to see the lights and uh, it's, it's gonna i mean look at all the uh pixels look at all the objects that are in the screen and all of them have to um compute the shadows and the lights, man, that's going to be a hell of a lot of process power going on in here. So we don't really want it to uh, waste all that process power when we can't really notice anything. So uh, we have the option to uh, set the max draw distance for the light. Um, so this distance will be where the light's completely off, so it won't calculate the light anymore, light and the shadows. So, in my instance, I mean, uh, 2600 is not a bad value. Some, something that most people uh, really like to see would be like 3500. Below that, they would notice that lights going off and some might not like it. But um, there's an option in here, max distance fade range. So, if you just pay close attention to the light in here, I mean, thanks to the volumetric fog, you can easily see the light from distance. It just fades away bit by bit. And then when you come back in, it fades in. So it starts fading at 2000 uh, on your units, and then it completely fades away at 2600 on your units. And that's it. In this way, you can easily get rid of the extra lights that are causing performance issues in your render dock, in your GPU visualizer, or anything. I hope this was helpful. Thank you, guys.